In this short video I want to show how to use Magic Bullet Looks 2 inside EDS. And to start with I want to talk about the installation. You have to install Magic Bullet as 32-bit filter as this is the standard as this is the standard supported at the moment. And I have installed Magic Bullet Looks for After Effects CS4. And after the installation, even if you don't have After Effects 4, you find a folder with the regarding files. And in my case, it's on the system drive under Program Files and Adobe, Common, Plugins, CS4. And here you can find the Media Core folder. And inside this folder, you find Magic Bullet looks after it has been installed. And now you can either take this After Effects filter and place it in your desired directory, or you use this directory and point EDIUS to this folder. You do this in the settings under System Settings, and there you find the Effects section, and there you find After Effects plugin bridge. And there you can specify which folders should be used for After Effects filters. And you see I have placed the looks filter inside a self-created directory under EDS 6 looks 2. And this folder has been added here to my plugin bridge options via the add button you can find here. So after this has been added you have to restart EDS. And after the restart you will find the After Effects plugin folder under Video Filters and here you can find Magic Bullet Looks. It's the version 2. And to use it you simply drag it onto the desired clip. And now I go into the information window, open the dialog and I turn off keyframes as they don't have any use in combination with Looks. And as Magic Bullet Looks has its own interface, we don't have to use those sliders. We can just go straight to the Edit button, click on it, and you will see Magic Bullet Looks will open in its own window. And I don't want to show too much of the program here. You can find some very nice tutorials on their own website. I simply want to show how to use some of the presets. Just go to the left and the menu will pop out and there you can find a lot of presets with cool presets. And to use them simply click on them and you will see the result right here in the preview window. And of course if you want you can go to the detail settings to modify them. For example I can turn off the effects here or to compare with the original, I can turn off the complete chain here. This is the original view and this is the preset I have used. And if I want to keep this preset, I simply click on finished and I'm back in EDS. I click OK and so you can see the filters applied on my video clip. It's just not playing in real time. So if I want to preview the video at full speed, I have to render it on my machine, but uh, for previewing it's okay to scrub in the timeline. You see the updating of the preview is fast enough to give you a good impression how the filter looks on this kind of video material. 